Hey everybody! It's Puppy Lover 863 here. So, how are you? How's your summer? For me, it's been crazy. One reason why is because when I came back from my three week break not too long ago, I reached 30,000 subscribers. Well, 31,000 and counting at the moment, but still. And being today being bored and having nothing to do, I've decided I'm going to be telling you 30 facts about Moth, Puppy Lover 863. But before I start, I just want to let you all know that at the end of this video, there's going to be a little update thing, so um, please wait until the end of the video so that way you can hear the update about my future videos and what I'm going to be doing this summer. Alright, so without further ado, here it is. 30 facts about Puppy Lover 863. Probably one thing you don't know about me is I am an only child. <laughs> I am a limited LPS collector. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it means my parents only allow me to buy a certain amount of little pet shops twice a year. So maybe this month or next month I might get a couple and then I have to wait another six months before I can get new ones. Right now I have over 152 Bulls Pet Shops and I'm not sure if they're really happy about that. I am not a total girly girl. Actually, I may not be one at all. Cause I'm not one of those girls that looks in the mirror and just is all narcissistic about themselves like, Oh my gosh, I gotta get my eyeliner done, oh I have acne, No, I am not like that at all. I'm just focusing on being myself and not having to worry about every single little detail. If 100% of myself is me, I guess I'd say I'm 75% nerd, 20% girly, and 5% tomboy. You guys probably might al not also know this, but I actually have poor eyesight, like I'm nearsighted, so I have to wear glasses every day and I've been wearing them for as long as I can remember. And no, I don't want to wear contacts if you are asking. I'm actually a total klutz. Like, I'll bump into a lot of places, I'll br I get bruised a lot, I trip a lot, it's kind of actually who I am to be honest. I am at heart a true animal lover. Animal lovers unite! I actually want to work with more animals as I get older, but for now I'm pretty soon going to start doing some volunteer work, so that should be pretty cool. I unfortunately deal with a lot of anxiety and shyness in my life, so it's kind of really hard in some situations where I have to face that and just not have those traits. I'm actually doing a lot better. Like, um, it's been hard for me, but I've been able to get past that in most situations, but I'm still stuck the square one in some. I actually tend to procrastinate a lot. A lot more than you already know. Well, I try not to procrastinate too much when it comes to schoolwork and Little's Pet Shop videos, but sometimes it's just so hard. Like, like I'll be watching television and my mom's like, uh, shouldn't you be doing homework? I'm like, wait, 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 after the show. It's just so annoying and I honestly need to work on that when I go back to school. I love the Hunger Games trilogy books, but I don't really like the movies. And if you're wondering why, well, this next fact will make more sense. I really, 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 really dislike violent movies. Graphic violence, I'm not personally not a big fan of. I mean, I know Royal Secrets has some violence, but I use this rarely and I use ketchup as fake blood so it won't look too realistic if I do have young viewers. Out of any channel I would mostly watch on, I watch a lot of Disney Channel. Like, a lot of people in my school, they, they think they're like too old for that show. But to be honest, I still like watching it. I mean, it, it's a pretty cool channel and they have a lot of cool shows. But shows like Lee, Pretty Little Liars, are too way too much drama. It's just, are just too, um, like, stereotypical. And I personally don't enjoy watching them as much. I definitely think I have a case of arachnophobia, for sure. Well, I think I have arachnophobia to an extent because um, if it was like a little baby one that had a little dot, then I could just kill it easily. But if it's the spiders where they're like dark, dark black and have like 
long legs, then, then I just get so terrified. You honestly have no idea. Like, they're so scary. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, peeps. I have never dated anyone in my life. I personally think I'm just, it's too early to date anyone. And I think I should just wait until college before I want to officially date anyone. I am completely a total Mario gamer, which means that I am a gamer, but mostly with like Mario games because I think I just have more experience with the platforming and um, like the plots and how it works. Like, you know, Mario Kart, Super Mario Bros, New Super Mario Brothers, sorry. And like, sometimes I play other games too, like Sonic or like Nintendogs or Kirby. It just kind of depends. I love to run and I would consider myself a runner here and at school. The reason being, like it running just makes you like feel free like you don't have a care in the world and to be honest i sometimes overlap some of my classmates at school i have a lot of similar qualities to a husky dog so for one they have long hair just like i do for another they love running and like i said before um, i'm a runner at heart and the third thing they are sensitive to heat just like me and unfortunately it's like 90 something degrees out today and it's just ugh. I was a former crazy webkins collector that means I used to collect a lot of webkins a lot but I no longer uh, am a frequent webkins collector and the only reason why I would get a webkins would be to renew my account, which I have to do later this month. My account is officially seven years old, so I've been on Webkins for like seven years and I have over 70 Webkins. I know, it's just been kind of crazy. Yeah. If you want to see me do more Webkins stuff, um, I actually have a couple of Webkins playlists on my second channel, Pause for Life. I'll be uploading some Webkins videos there with my screen recorder and it'll be lots of fun. I am a huge bookworm. All starting when I was little, I would just get into books like crazy. I could actually read in an early age and I still love reading books today and just like I can get into any book and just get hooked with it. Like I won't even put it down just to have dinner. Like they're like, oh come on up for dinner and I'm like, wait, 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 I gotta finish this chapter and, and they get really my parents get really annoyed. It's just uh, I'll admit that I am a crazy, crazy, crazy bookworm. I actually have brunette hair, brunette long hair, like long hair like I said before, but I actually do also have um, some artificial red in there, just kind of highlights kind of thing. But I just wanted to try a little bit of red because I thought my co color was kind of boring. I just wanted to put a little bit, not too much of it, with my brunette. Hair, so actually I think it turned out pretty well I don't usually like being alone but when I do it's only if I'm like editing or uploading videos or if I'm on YouTube or something I am very hesitant about a lot of things like my dad will be all like oh let's go to this place I'm like are you sure I'm worried there might be traffic when you get back and you'll be like oh it'll be fine but then like when we come back it's all traffic and I'd be like I told you so I told you so but being hesitant in a way can be not really a good thing because it'll um, keep me uh, distanced from a lot of things. Like it won't allow me to expand what I want to do and such. Being he hesitant can be a blessing and a curse. I just have to say that flowers, flowers are my signature. Let me just say that I'll never leave home without putting a flower in my head. Usually most of the flowers I get are from H&M and Claire's, but the first few I got came from Forever 21. Due to my shyness, like I said, I have a very bad case of stage fright. It's almost impossible for me to present in front of the class, and that's why I never participate in any school plays. And if I did, I would help with sets and props only. No exception. I love art, but I'm pretty sure you all know that. I mean, in my previous videos, which I probably deleted, but I did a couple of speed paints in the past, 
I don't do digital art that much anymore. I just like to stick with old school pencil and color pencil and pen. Like I like to do a lot of medium. Baking is one of my favorite hobbies, but I only bake on special occasions, like if it was like Christmas or Thanksgiving or close to that, or if it was like a friend of mine's birthday, um, I would make cookies or cupcakes or even like a two layer cake. I actually did that once, but I try to do it only if it's a special occasion because my mom gets pretty mad if I make a mess in the kitchen after a whole day of baking because she doesn't want to clean up, but I do clean up after myself, but she's just freaks out a little. Now this might come as a shocker and a bit strange, but I actually collect pistachio shells. Don't believe me? Here's the proof. Oh, sorry. That's all the pistachio shells I have collected so far. Basically why I start collecting was because I had this idea a few years ago about making pistachio shells a medium in art. So I'm just saving up as much as I can so that way I can make them into something super awesome someday. I love pranks. Yeah, that's kind of surprising and random, but I actually love watching pranks, especially ones on Prank vs. Prank and small pranks on BF vs. GF. Yes, I'm subscribed to both channels. And I also, especially on April Fool's Day, I like to pull pranks. Like the night before, I just like set up pranks in the kitchen. My most favorite genre is comedy, mostly because it makes me laugh and uh, the Disney Channel shows were actually, they were so funny that it gave me the inspiration to do Club LPS, the comedy show, which episode 10, I think I'll do that next pretty soon. And cupcakes are my most favorite dessert. And that's the main reason why I called you guys my delicious cupcakes. Wait, there's what? <gasps> there's a cupcake! <gasps> ah! Shoot, I fell for that one. Yeah, that was fake. Okay, I'll get this out of here. Yeah. Thanks a lot, whoever put that there. So that's pretty much it for the facts. But before I go, I'm going to give you guys some updates. You guys know how I like running a lot? Well, a couple of running incidents, which include a lot of twists, bruises, sprains, etc. Uh, they caused me to make my foot feel a lot worse that I had to go to physical therapy so I have to go for six weeks twice every week twice every week for six weeks which kind of sucks so it'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays that I won't be able to make any videos well maybe I can like LPS gaming but just in general videos like the big move and royal secrets I'm not gonna be able to do I, I don't know if you guys follow me on Google Plus or not but I actually put up a post saying that I am working on the script for episode 9 of Royal Secrets and I'll soon film the big move, like the final episode of the big move and yes, this is serious, this is the final episode because that's all. That's the series, part, part 2 of the series finale, part 2 of 2 so after that I won't make any more episodes yeah, that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and thank you guys for so much for helping me reach 30,000 subscribers I love you all my delicious cupcakes. See you later, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.